On today's IRS tax refund update, we will recap the latest developments including the next round of tax refunds scheduled for release this week. And from there, we will take a look at some of the top notices being sent out by the IRS to those still experiencing refund delays as well as those impacted by the 570 and 971 codes on their tax transcripts in addition to the 810 refund freeze code. And finally, we will take a look at two possible options for assistance for those unable to get a resolution directly from the IRS. Starting off with the latest as the next round of tax refunds is scheduled for release on September 5th, as confirmed by the tax transcripts seen here. Now, if you are part of this latest refund batch, do allow up to five additional days for it to post to your bank account before initiating a payment trace with the IRS. And as a reminder, not all refund status results will update even after the refund has been sent so to ensure you are part of this latest refund batch. Do make sure to check your tax transcripts where you will see an 846 refund issued code when your refund has been cleared for release. Moving on to the top notices being sent out by the IRS, starting off with this letter which is also known as IRS Letter 2644C or the 60-day notice, informing the tax filer that the IRS is waiting on their tax account information to be available on their computer system. Now, the primary cause of this notice continues to be that the IRS has still not processed the wage information they received from your employer, which is needed to compare to your tax return for accuracy. And this is a problem that became quite common last year, which led to months of additional delays for some tax filers. Now, it is important to note you could be impacted by this even though employees from the same company are not. And it also brings up a possibility that your wages were entered under the wrong social security number, which is known to impact thousands of taxpayers each year due to the fact the employer has accidentally entered the wrong social security number on file most commonly as a result of a data entry error. If you do receive this letter, do contact the IRS as a number of tax filers impacted by this issue have been able to submit a copy of their tax forms, in particular AW2 form, so that tax processing can in fact continue and your refund is ultimately released. For those who choose not to reach out and rather wait for the IRS to eventually process their employer's tax information, it should be noted that oftentimes the IRS does eventually process the applicable forms. However, there will also be cases that they will send you letter in the mail, including the 12C notice, as seen here requesting that you submit the applicable tax documents so that processing can continue. And if you no longer have the form, you will need to reach out to the issuer of the form for a copy so that it can be submitted to the IRS. Now, moving on to those ongoing delays, many of our viewers continue to report seeing the either the 570 or 971 tax transcript codes or a combination of the codes like seen here. And if you see both of these codes with the same date, that means the IRS has auto-corrected or resolved any potential issue or reviewed the tax return in question and that any refund due to the tax filer will be cleared for processing in the next several weeks. If the codes appear with separate dates, it means the IRS is continuing to work on the issue or review the tax return, and that a notice has been sent out to you, which should arrive in the mail by the date listed next to the 971 code. Now, as we have stated previously, the 570 code could appear on your tax transcript for a variety of reasons, including the IRS computer system detected a potential issue with the tax return, or it has been set aside for further examination or review, including wage verification. Another commonly reported code is the 810 refund freeze code, which means your refund has been frozen pending further action. And as a result, the freeze could be due to a variety of reasons from the tax credits being claimed, such as the earned income tax credit or solar credits to also ID verification, and in particular self-employment income being reported, which we have seen an increase of in the last several years, as well as the return falling under the frivolous return program, which is as a result of the IRS believing the return in question may be fraudulently filed. Now, as this point for those still impacted by delays, simply waiting it out may not be the best course of action, especially if action is necessary on your part, such as the need to complete ID verification or submission of specific tax documentation. And with the IRS call center, often not able to provide much assistance on a particular issues, there continues to be two avenues for assistance that have provided to be successful for many of our viewers, not only this year, but in previous years. The first option is to consider reaching out and opening up a case with the Taxpayer Advocate's Office. Now the Taxpayer Advocate will assign a caseworker who will communicate with the IRS on your behalf to determine the extent of the issue 
and what action may be necessary to take so that tax processing can in fact continue. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.